Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Starcraft Blood War Paths of Shadow with me, Deonox. When we last left off, we've had a breakthrough on Orange. It took a little, it took us a while. But we finally punched through Orange's defenses. And we're starting to well crush the northern expenses. We'll start with crushing through the northern, uh, northern territories, and they are running out of well everything. Let's fight back. I haven't seen any like gathering stuff. I haven't seen any whatsoever. And um, yeah, we have a. Um, a slight base starting to spawn in over here. Which is going to have access to thousands. We'll have more Vespine and minerals than we'll have in a long time. We'll have access to a month or mother load of materials, minerals. This, if this is their bread basket again, this is their main unit production zone. Browns are in trouble. We can literally hop over and do a lot of damage. I didn't pick on there, okay. Lines are there. But yeah. And we're gonna make sure the Browns can't just you know, creep over. They went over. They're gonna have to fight their way over. Four more probes is not a big ask, to be quite honest. They're actually. Can I go? Oh, he's stuck. <laughs> he's stuck on the wrong side. Oh, that he is stuck. You've not enough minerals. Trust me, I got 5k here. I'm gonna be fine. You know what? No, just dip over here and pick him up. You feel your presence. Now, you will know the power of the dark side of the- Oh wait, sorry, it's the wrong series entirely. My bad. I pointed this out in the last episode, that, um, our friend Zeratul is a few thousand years old. You know, Yoda in Star Wars was only like 900. Somewhere in the 900 region. Oh, yeah, there you go. Minerals. Lots of them. Let's just go and load it here. Go with minerals. And they've got mineral collection from there, too, so that's fine. It takes longer. He's the enemy. Way too close and found out why. That well, happens when you try that. Oh, yeah, you got damage because of the uh, guardians popped in and attacked us. Again, certain colors are not doing much of a much to do about anything at the moment. Yeah, maintain, ready to grab. We're gonna run out of Vespine on that guy's soon, but that's fine. We've got another 8, 6, 
8k here and this has another 8k as well as 10, 15, 20 probably close to 20,000 in over here They killed the detector and serve going after the, them. You know, we, we would have the um, advantage there, we would be able to destroy it. Instructions. Oh, good. Oh, that's what you want. Invasion fleet just got white. There was no fleet there, that was an annihilation. And even if they had managed to pull, these guys had been there, they'd have been trundling themselves over to try and punch. Oh wow, well, let me see that. Can we always try and fight it? It's like, oh, wait. territories with you know, the high mineral cost amounts. Instructions. You hold nothing. If I just select them all, then I should be fine. of salt there. You 
They go after the defense towers and they go after infantry first, but the death of every infantry is a... Like, uh -oh. our um, detector, he, he went away. So we don't have anyone detecting right now. So, you know what? Affirmative. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Mercas are no good if they can't do more than hide in the middle of the kill them. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Funds only last so long. Okay, the middle's here. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Carrier has arrived. So I was like, oh no, how many more minerals again? Bled another stone dry. But like, yeah, not too bad. I mean, we technically have um, carriers being spawned in the background. So this army is being revitalized, reinforced. See, they're making hydros because that's pretty much the only ground zerg unit that can attack airborne units. And even then, it's getting a little precarious. Just close enough to angle that. We'll attack that now. Happily, and that can only dies. Quickly. 
what about two more carriers over? Because one and two more carriers. I'll move it in the back. See, they are slowly. Guys here were ready to just need their men men to go. Be ready, so just save time, bring them over. And they are not happy because they just killed some carriers. Took a lot of men to do it, but they did it. And now fresh carriers are bought. Just run out and come out to fight. This is expensive for them, more so for them than me, because I'm. Well, you have a Vespi in production up here and minerals. But if this hatchery goes down, the number of guys they can spawn drops. Instructions. I wonder if I should make some Reavers. They would start just destroying infantry left, right, and center. Yeah, they're making infantry, but it's not quite call a sterling success. Yep, the guy was just too close, the guy we get sighted. Well, he then falls away again. Not cycle you out for you. Again, they lost the hatchery, so they're not producing as many men. They have 
guys back here, but their um, production rate is going is dropping because they have lost man the manpower that they used to have. New production decreased. The warriors have engaged the enemy. And there was no other units around, so they, so the, so the sector got the one, was the one who got the hit. Again, this is dying. They've only got these two other hatcheries up here to spit infantry out. And I don't think they can spit as many men out with this with so few um, observers. So few of those guys now. Their unit cap has started to appear. Are you guys gonna finish killing this thing or not? I mean, guys are more. Oh, that guy's like right there to just kill him. They're not coming often enough to actually be. That's dying, that's taking a bumbling, that's hatcheries getting obliterated. And we've. You know what, if I have part of these two here, they should be able to. Help deter people from getting in. There goes the small detect mechanism down there. The hatchery is dead, so that's not producing any more men. These are thinking, oh god, what will I next? The fact that they actually have to spawn in that is a bad sign. That's a super bad sign because um, means there's less. Yeah, there's less hope. There's less holding us back now. We ask. This is the end for Orange. The carriers are too numerous, and they've slowly chipped away. They've used their extreme range to slowly chip away. Um, defenders. To the point in which they haven't actually got enough manpower to keep fielding. If you don't want to trickle drop these guys, then it's fine. But these three zealots will rip them to shreds. Defense towers are dying. Our shields are strong enough that we take being every time one of these things float too close to get mauled. There's a lot of defense towers here still, so that's a bit in their favor still, but that's fine. We got. I mean, two hydralists spawning, not really a threat, as there's like nearly 80 units flying around. Units are spawning in and just being killed practically as fast as they've been made. And there goes another pop cap. They've lost the AA guns over here. The Hydra's den is about to go poof, which means Orange won't be able to make Hydra's anymore. There we go. This will be the last Hydra's they can make because they have no longer got the Hydra's den. Not sort of sharing the unit cap, which is 
not fair, but yeah, they had money. I'm going to still send money now, but they had it. But yeah, I think they... Wait, did they drop the workers? I think the workers are all dead. Hey, you shouldn't be able to spawn Hydralis. The Hydralis were killed. Let's go second den somewhere. If not, that's just unfair, you're cheating. Why are they not gathering resources? I feel the focus on the policy of the military unit here. They will kill it first before they go after anyone else. That was an overlord. He did. I'm not even entirely sure they can. He's trying to evolve into a Better layer. Oh, that's a little larvae? What is, what is with the priority thing for you guys? It feels weird. I mean, going as a guardian makes sense, but. Finally makes some sense. Have the enemy. That makes more sense. The they are making infant they're making those instead of infantry. Bad sign. That's a bad sign. The warriors have engaged the enemy. When one is just sat making infant, making the population cap system rather than infantry, it means you cannot actually make afford to make infantry. Not kill this off for the love of God. Get rid of it. That scourge came over from somewhere and just went bleh. That's brown. Wait, you tell me the orange backs, the orange base, the upper base actually backs onto Brown's main base? Oh, that's bad for Brown. If we've killed the part their partners on the other side of this complex, I just doubt you're making infantry. I decided. It's time for infantry. The warriors have engaged the enemy. I think of the vision of Archons. But Orange is gone. I'm in the episode now before I continue on for the next half an hour. Hour and a half. But Orange is gone. Orange is kaput. Whoever this brood was is kaput. They ain't afraid anymore. They can no longer field anything. They've lost all their building. They've lost all their um, production buildings. And what's left of their defences are being stripped away, stripped down. I'm making High Templar, I might make High Templar in two locations, and I'm going to start making Archons, and then teleporting them over. Let's see how this thing fares against 12 Archons, backed up by a squadron of carriers that are stealthed. I mean, let's face it, the Archons just literally go after the AA the AA towers, their um, anti-air towers, mm, that's it, that's a game, mm. that's going to leave the um, airships free to mo mosey on over and blap them. Well, that's all for next time though, so until then, until then, I'll catch you all later, see ya!